party since like I don't know grade six or something like that and Dan never had one no yeah. and I, ha I had like a compromise between the two <gasps> I had like a sleepover in a tent that's a sleepover that's a sleepover yeah but it's not like a slump like oh, it's not me, this. like no, yeah nothing is this okay yeah. this is the shameless version of slumber yeah. parties this no one else has this at home <laughs> I wish I had this but you sure. had friends at your slumber party right yeah yeah, I was just kind of awkward and silent. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Speak right. the ball out. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from that. Okay. This episode is all about my first, and we're going to share those experiences. Because this is the first episode. This is the yeah. first episode. <laughs> Number one. To me, girl bonding is like the heart of all things beautiful. All my favorite moments of growth have come from girl bonding sessions. So I'm happy to share this with you guys. And, and especially for you virgins because... out here. What? Slumber, party. <laughs> slumber party virgins. <laughs> You're like, wait, wait, wait. I said first. I didn't really mean that. Okay, a slumber party is not complete without a round of games. Woo! So, Twerk parties. Oh, well, I have, oh, wow. I mean, no? That just, <laughs> I, don't know what game, I don't know what game you're playing, but wish up my cupcake game. But the game involves this bowl. Oh, okay. I was going to say that next. And <laughs> it's all about my first. Okay, picking this one. Drum roll. Woo! First time I got wasted. Oh, goodness. First time, 17 years old. I was working for Roots Canada. I got so wasted that Wait, my... Why? Why were you getting wasted out of roots? They had, oh, they had a Christmas party, party and they had a eggnog. No, <laughs> I don't tell her story. <laughs> so I'm really excited. I love so eggnog. Then <laughs> they had a roll of drink tickets, oh. and I somehow managed to get my hand on an entire roll of drink tickets. Oh, so I just kept drinking to the point where I fell off the bar stool, <gasps> but. I'm 17, I'm under age, yeah. and I'm at a work Christmas party. Yeah. So they had to take me home, but my manager was too embarrassed to take me to my door. So she had her boyfriend take me to the door. Oh no. And my mom was livid, so she started cursing the guy out and like, what have you done to my daughter? What is happening to her? So you couldn't play it off. I could I couldn't so walk. Far gone. I couldn't walk, like he had wow. to like carry me to my door. So that's my first what is the story? Lick it before beer. beer, don't drink again. That's um, basically what she's trying she's to like, say. You don't even know? You don't even know the rhyme? <laughs> You're not supposed to even mix, be mixing drinks like that? I'm like, um, you didn't tell me this. We didn't have this convo. <laughs> next. Your turn, next. First rap song. Ooh. Oh. I can't rap. Technically, I think it would be, I don't know if this counts as a first rap song, Fresh Prince. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's follow it first. In Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground, is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and I was shooting some b ball outside of school when a couple of guys said we're up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got one little fight, my mom got scared. So I'm just gonna do it. Okay, next. Yeah, it turn. <laughs> oh, I have first kiss. Oh. Uh, Anybody who knows me now knows I'm a professional kisser, but my first kiss, um, <laughs> Sorry. it was really, really terrible. Actually, when I was in elementary school, I wasn't hot at all. I was like the tomboy one that no one liked. And so I had in, we were playing spin the bottle and somebody got me and they were like mad they got me. <gasps> yeah, but they still like, okay, fine, I'll do it fast. And so I had this first fast kit. I'm joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had this first really fast kiss, it was kind of forced, and I was like, I don't really want to count this, because, yeah. you know, like, yeah, yeah. you know, know what we should do, you know what this total sleepover, like, back in the day, like, the, the practice kissing with your hand, 
Yep. And with stuffed animals. With your hand one. I did the one. hand. Yeah, really? I did the hand one, yeah. Is somebody actually have boys? What has not good enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, we do have the guy next door coming over, Chris. Um, oh, so we go, we go I like a surprise. Up. We'll text and see when he's coming. Okay, yeah. Come over. Tell him we got a bunch of sweets. Conversations getting hot and heavy with my hand set. <laughs> oh, do not. <laughs> okay. Round two. Okay. First period. Ooh. Take it in, ladies. Take it in. Take it in. That's the juicy one. Pun intended. <laughs> it's so gross. Sorry. <laughs> Freshen up. <laughs> Chris, Chris. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 My special friend. How do you guys know each other? We worked on set together this we did. summer. Oh. This past summer. How oh, are you? Are we? In um, Michigan. Michigan for a month. We stayed in the same house. We were slumber. We did kind of party. do. It was all like a party. It was a bit like this, we wasn't it? And you less sort of like. Pink and candy floss. And less pink, <laughs> less candy floss. Okay, am I allowed to say this? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, we, we did our slumber party with weed and whiskey. Uh, <laughs> I was right. Lots of it. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of it. Well. We'd go over the Wow, well, wow. Well. Oh, we can offer you some sugary treats. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Help yourself. Yeah, we'd say, yeah, and lots of it, and we used to find hidden depths in the script. We would go just... over a script. I was like, <laughs> kind, you guys. Well, they don't know, but. Yeah. but Cupcakes then, instead of weed, and we have citrus water oh, instead yeah, of whiskey. Water. You, you know, that is much better. Yeah, the games. Truth or dare? Always dare. Ooh, I like this one! Okay, okay, okay. 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 Dare, dare. Yeah, okay. Um, we dare you to try on this lovely thing. You're pink. kidding. What is it? I love it. Like, I, I, I really do love it. But, but like, what, what is it? It's all about the conversations that you have with girlfriends. Because for me growing up, I didn't have girlfriends or even an older sister or a mom to turn to oh, to see. ask advice. Or like even like first period. I had my first period and I had no one to talk to. I That's didn't know who to talk to. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Her mom told her to jump off a cliff. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> My mom told me to yourself. Jump, jump down. Some jump steps. down steps because that's how how many days your period. His is. expression. You know, it actually gets even, it, it gets even worse. Advice. Hold on. Yeah. It's not awful advice. Such a jump down steps. <laughs> so, like coming from the days when they. <laughs> Okay, and then what was the other one? I didn't even say this. When I was young, not only did I have to jump down steps, I didn't actually do it, but my mom was saying how if you take the period blood and put it on your face, you'll have clear skin. I've heard that before. Rest no, of, yeah, yeah. I've never heard so that. So I had like my, my blood and I was just like, I can't do it, mom, I can't do it. And she's like, okay. <laughs> it's almost like she wanted to see if I would do she's it. She's like, you're alone. <laughs> This is your first kiss. Like, oh, <laughs> 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 Who's your first kiss? Um, my first kiss is a somewhat underwhelming moment. Um, so I went to an all boys school. Oh, um, you classic. Ooh, this story's getting juicy already. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> no. Uh, so, so the way the way they used to um, make sure that when you get to eighteen and leave school that you haven't like not talked to any girls and you can't function socially. They used to have dances where they used to invite girls. Oh, to make sure that you're to not make sure like, that you're not, weird, like, like, you're not oh, 18 and suddenly you? you're like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> well, one of these dances, what used to happen is it used to start off and everyone's really shy and by the end everyone's sort of snogging. That's that's the way that used to go, that art Sorry, used to what? happen. Sorry, what? Snogging. What is this I think word? that's making out, right? Is that, is that what it is? Is that what it is? That is the ugliest word for making out I've ever heard. It is an awful word. Actually, now that you mention it, that's, it sounds I, kind of like I, I, I listen to it myself, that's Snotting. awful. There is a much better word. There, yeah, you guys have better words for that. I love making out. Making out? Making out, yeah, okay, fair enough. Thanks. So Thanks. by the end, Here everyone's you making out. Thank you. But in English, making out means pretending. Like making out to do something when you're actually oh. not. So, um, yeah. It, little did I know that as soon as I finished my first kiss, the girl had been playing a competition with her other girl <laughs> as to how many. So, so I finished my first kiss, and watched you... her mark it up on her arm, no! <laughs> and a sort of tally chart with an eye pencil, oh like my that, God. and go off and compare it to her to her mate. How old were you? <laughs> I was grade nine for my first kiss. First kiss? Really? Yeah. yeah. 
I was like seven. Seven? But it was like, the kid's name was Andy. He was like this like Hispanic, like suave. Yeah, of course I remember him. He was our first kids. So he gave me a peck on the lips, and then I got chicken pox. <gasps> oh. Yeah. It was, he was like, he, I guess he had chicken pox, and then I realized like two days later I was itchy all over, and then I got chicken pox. That's not bad. Because ten years later, then you get herpes, so. <laughs> yeah. Pox. Yeah, you know, it was, it was a good I training like what wheel you bring to me. <laughs> <laughs> Truth or dare? Oh, is it Moigo again? Hang yeah, on a second. It is Jergo again. Although I missed them. I'm you missed our again. rounds to catch up. Um, uh, truth. Okay. Ooh, first love. I probably. <laughs> it was probably. I was doing drama back in the day at school, and uh, they put on a production of Alice in Wonderland, and uh, it was the girl who played Alice. Oh, how You cliche. have the most decadent, I know. like, fantastic. With his accent, too. Yeah, <laughs> she was Alice. Like she was in Alice in Wonderland, yeah. <laughs> and I was probably the caterpillar. That's why yeah. I, I was the mushroom. Did she love you back though? I don't think she even knew my name until really? later on. That's real love to you. Like oh, well, I was. Let's see. I was. Um, I was probably about twelve. Well, love why, or why love? that? Why love? Like or what makes you so love for that one? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, because because at that at that age, <laughs> yeah, having this conversation as my nails being painted for a <laughs> Because I think at that age, things have felt more intensely. And so True. probably I was in more love then right. than like, I don't know, yeah. And it was heartbreaking that, that yeah. she didn't know who I was. Actually, I then, this is brilliant actually. Who did um, you play in the play? I didn't get into that one. Oh, That's what okay. made me think. At that point, I was like, hmm. So I went to an all boys school. Oh. And it, it, it took, it didn't turn <laughs> yeah, That's um, what sparked your passion And Chris is an actor. Literally, first of that was the, uh, the first thing. I like to think it's gotten a little deeper since then, but that's where it came from. That's, that's where it comes from. <laughs> that little tear, little tear for Alice. <laughs> the one that got away. I didn't ask you to sleep over, but this is kind of like an all girls thing. Yeah. So. I understand, I'll leave so you guys get to get out of okay. here. I'll leave you guys to Bye, it. Chris. Thanks, Thanks for, for having coming. me. Oh. Get out of here. We're not gonna, Bye. we're not gonna snog. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you could go back and give yourself advice for some of your firsts, what would you tell yourself? I would say, listen to your gut. It's okay to stand up for yourself and not be pressured to not say anything or feel like you know you'll be looked down upon or somebody will think mm -hmm. negatively of you. Or comparing yourself to Disney or to movies. It's yeah. like that's your first and like really focus on the actual experience. As long as it was positive for you and you chose that, then it was good. Yeah. And you'll learn and you'll get better as time goes on. But your first, you can never take that back or change it. So appreciate it for what it was. And it's yours. That's it for now, you guys. If you enjoy the slumber party, make sure you comment below and let us know which topics you'd like for us to cover in the next episode. Until then, remember to do you, boo. Be shameless.